Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff Gora, and I just bought a 2015 Suburban only to find out that my iPhone will not work in the wireless charging on the armrest. Today we're looking at a problem with GM vehicles from 2015 to 2017 with the wireless charging inside the armrest. Yukon, Suburban, Escalade, Sierras, the Duramaxis, any of those that have the wireless charging inside the armrest and they're not working with your newer model iPhones and some of the newer model Androids, upgrading to the 2018 module will solve your problem. Before we get started, there's a few tools that you're going to need and if you don't have them, I'll put them in the description below so you'll be ready to go. First, you'll need a set of trim removal tools. You can do the project without this, but it makes it a lot harder and there's a chance you might break something on your truck. We wouldn't want that to happen. You'll need a T10 Torx driver and also a sharp knife. Use your trim removal tools to work your way evenly around the surface until you get a good separation that you can pull away from the lid. This step is probably one of the hardest and it's best if you go slow. Once you've got the inside of the armrest off, we can start by removing the four screws that hold the old wireless charging module in place. You may have found several other videos on YouTube showing how you can modify or hack the plug in this module to work with the new module. I tried that the first time and it didn't work for me. There's a harness that works perfectly with the 2018 module. It's definitely the way to go. The rubber mat on the top of the lid is held in place with several screws. Remove these screws so we have access to the rubber mat. In order to center your device over the new charging module, we'll need to rotate this mat 180 degrees. Once you've removed the mat, you will need to modify it by cutting this small section off with your sharp knife. By making this modification, you'll be able to rotate the mat, allowing your phone to be centered more evenly over the new charging module. Press the trim piece firmly into place, and then open the armrest. Replace the screws that you removed from the step before. In order to put the new harness in, we'll need to move to the back seat of the vehicle. For many of you, this console will contain the climate and media controls for the back seat. Let's remove the liner and the four T10 screws holding it in place. Remove this panel by pulling out and upward. Take note, there are several wires plugged into the back of the climate and media control panels. You don't want to pull too hard. Let's remove the old harness and plug in the new one. After plugging in the new harness, align the cover and pop it back into place. Then you can replace the four screws and the rubber liner. Back in the front, now that we have the new harness run to the armrest, we can plug it into the new module. Use the four screws from the original module to mount the new module into the armrest cover. Be sure that the new module is mounted in the correct orientation so that you can safely route the wire. Replace the inside cover of the armrest by pressing it firmly into place, being careful not to pinch the wire. See, not too bad. That's all there is to it. I hope this video will help you solve the wireless charging problems in your car. If you liked it, please click the button below and even subscribe to my channel. Again, my name is Jeff Gora, and thanks for watching. This is my first YouTube video. If it was helpful, please leave me a comment below or give me feedback. I'd love to make more videos for you in the future.